Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So recently I have started adding some stocks under a new theme composition in my portfolio. So what is the meaning of theme composition? So let me explain it by an example. So in the last three years, I have added a lot of themes. For example, public sector banks theme I have added, which has done really well. Then I added private sector banks, which hasn't done really well. It has been stagnating. Then on top of that, just a healthcare theme I added it did exceptionally well. EMC theme, just HDFC, EMC I had added in 2022. It has given more than 100% turn up. So recently, in fact, I added like consumer durable themes, just my Voltas and Whirlpool add tha. So that again had given very good run up. But I feel that these themes have saturated a little bit, at least in the short to mid term. But given the fact that market has corrected by roughly 10%, it might make sense to look at newer themes. So this is what I have been doing for the last couple of weeks. And there are certain set of themes that I have identified. And I will be building positions in these themes. So on this video, I'm going to help you understand this, that I'm going to give you a quick overview of these themes A. And I'm going to talk about some stocks, as I said, all stocks are in But some stocks I will speak about and help you understand the logic behind that. So let us first and foremost check the markets. And if you take a look at this, right? So this is where we are. I have been saying quite extensively on my channel for the last several months, in fact, now, that we are going to hit this point. I still maintain it. Now it might take a little while. I don't know. But this trend is likely to be followed. Why? Because it was a time before that this was the trend hit. Hua tha. So there is a very high probability. Ab guarantee to not happen to But there is a very very high probability that this segment will be hit. Okay. Now why am I saying it? Because if you divide this channel into half, right? So we are already somewhere below this channel. Okay. So this half is niche. Hai. So this becomes like a buyer's channel now, right? And it makes sense to build some positions especially if you are a long-term investor. Now, in case you are a long-term investor, you need to have fundamental knowledge, fundamental understanding. Varna every time there is like a 2, 3%, 5% fall, you will start panicking. Okay. So I do run a YouTube member community where I teach things fundamentally. You get to engage with a lot of community members, understand their perspective also. And the membership fees is really low. So in case you are a serious investor, do consider checking that community out. I'll put the links on how to join it in the description and comment box. You can definitely check it out. Try out the membership for two, three months. And if you don't like it, you can, of course, unsubscribe it anytime. Okay. So, but having said this right now, uh, the logic is that if you have money to invest right now, it makes sense to start building positions for the last six months. I had been building cash positions. So I have invested like around 20, 25% from it. And I will be putting more new money into the market now on the following themes. Okay. So let me just quickly explain those themes. So the first key theme that I'm picking up is two wheeler theme. Now you will say that Akshat, you missed the EV bus, Ola Electric Netra De Dia, Tata Motors Netra De Dia. Yes, I understand. I cannot chase every theme that is out there. But having said this, I want to buy things, themes, stocks which i am confident in terms of holding so right now given the market circumstances i feel that two wheeler theme is likely to do well now why is two wheeler likely to do well so uske liye sabse pehle aapko data point dikhata hu which will outline that how many two wheelers now out of total automobiles that are sold in india how many of them are two wheelers three wheelers four wheelers right so yahan se aap dekhoge to aapko pata chalega ki yaar there is not even a competition for example these are the number of two wheelers which are sold and these are all else. Okay, so there is not even a competition. This must be like approximately 75% of India's automobile market comprises of two wheelers. Now comes the second key question here that, okay, why is it that the two wheeler theme is likely to grow? So here you will data. Mil For example, you will कि जब 2020 क्राइसिस हुई थी तो दी डिस्क्रेशनरी स्पेंडिंग और डिस्क्रेशनरी भी क्या दे तो नेसेसरी स्पेंडिंग है सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल वर अनेबल टू बाय एनीथिंग देयर वाज कंप्लीट इरोजन ऑफ बाइंग पावर now the thing is that people have to make this expense. Why? Because this is tied to their jobs. Look, scooter or motorcycle is not that they you know they can live like a luxury life now. Right? I mean, it's not a luxury item anymore. It's a very basic item these days. If you have to do job with Zomato, Swiggy, then you most likely will have a two-wheeler. This is a basic necessity. That's one. Now a large segment of people use two-wheelers as a primary mode of transportation. So what is the point here? What is the point here? That this sale is picking up we will at least hit this point right and so this sale is likely to grow so we can at least expect like a 10 15 percent cagr in demand itself now why will this demand kick in because the emi or interest rates are likely to get cut in the next couple of quarters even in india so that is a very high possibility of happening so whenever the interest rate gets cut 
then the EMI ka burden is going to be less, right? And most of the two wheelers again are purchased on EMIs. So therefore, the sales is going to rise. This is part one. Part two is there was a lot of talk, lot of talk. Yeah, you know what? Electric vehicles are going to be conventional automobile, all this stuff. Yes, but that conversation was primarily segmented to four wheeler segment. Okay. Now in India or in, in, in any part of the world, basically, if you have to run an EV based four wheeler, then you require very good infrastructure around it. For example, charging points at certain distances. Now, unfortunately, that infrastructure planning is not there in India. So I don't know the future of four-wheeler EVs in India, but two-wheeler EVs in India is the first segment or first space where the revolution will come. All the two-wheelers or a large segment of the two-wheelers that you currently see, they are going to get replaced by EV. And EV two-wheelers, they do not have those logistical mightwares, right? For example, charging stations are complicated. Yeah, you know what? People are taking two-wheelers and driving like 5500. I'm not talking about bikers. I'm talking about like normal everyday people. They do not take like road trips on two-wheelers, so to say. Most of the two-wheelers are purchased in order to do everyday necessity type of jobs, okay? So to cut the long story short, EVs are going to replace conventional automobile. Abhi Ola Electric ki ap kahani dekh rahe ho, whatever is going on between Bhavesh Agrawal and Kunal Kamara and all that stuff. No, so they were unable to service it. That was basically an IPO pump game that was being played out. It has somewhat played out. Ab dekhte hai, right? I mean, the quality of service is not there, right? And if you guys differ with my opinion, you can definitely comment below. So buying Ola type or Ola Electric type of companies still do not make any sense to me. But if we look at traditional players, so I will give you two examples. Like for example, Bajaj Auto. Now, Bajaj Auto, first and foremost, the stock price has corrected by roughly how much? 25 odd percent easily. Like a little bit more, almost 30 percent. So, number one, there is correction of price that has already happened. Now, is it that you know, their sales have been halted? Not at all, right? The profit numbers are very nice, very good. Revenue numbers are all time high. On top of that, if we look at investor holding, bhi dekhe iski. so I will show you quickly because I have a lot of ground to cover today. So for example, FIIs have increased their holding, DIN has si a little bit, but there has not been any major change when it comes to strong hold or strong hand holding. Okay. Now again, let's look at another stock, right, which I am considering at this stage, so which is TVS Motors. Again, similar, see, hai, right? revenues are good, profits are all time high, pe hai, right? no problem. What about price? So price correction has been done, I will show you from here. So this was almost at like, 3000 right now it is at 2500 so it's maybe thought about correction on Sakai 15 16 percent ke aspas, which is very good right which is which kind of makes sense uh, right so if you want to do your like your first tranche you could possibly consider this again not a recommendation ke aap bhi aage lo. but this is something that I will be betting on from a long term basis now these stocks because they have run up really fast there is a very high chance of consolidation ki is tarike se kuch consolidate karenge. So please only buy these when they are available at a discount. Aisi koi jald baadhi nahi hai ki kali ja ke kharidlo types. Now again, I would encourage all of you to join my member community because usme hota kya hai ki I can give you quick commentary on these type of things that you know when something is looking discounted, when something is looking overvalued, all that stuff. So kyunki rose video bana pana, it's like really complicated. So it's difficult to come out with videos very frequently. But any quick updates I can quickly share, right? And that adds to your fundamental knowledge. So doing that valuation analysis is the way that you will make money on these stocks. Otherwise, you will actually lose money by investing in these companies because they have grown really fast. Natural question comes, why did you do this before? You can invest in all the themes, you cannot invest, right? I mean, I have already invested a decent amount of money across different themes, which have given me very good run-up, right? So it's not as if that I missed like the market rally or something of that sort. Just a small cap theme pick, kari thi, small cap 250. It was a lot of money. Now, the market is still close to its all-time high. It's not as if, you know what, I mean, everything is and you can just go and buy everything that is out there. No, right? You still have to do your analysis and buy decently priced things, right? As a coach, but decently priced thing at sensible rates and hold it for two, three years. You will, you are likely to see gains. The second thing that I am bullish on is international theme and especially in the cyber security space, I am very, very bullish. Now, cyber security space in India, mein bhi hoti hai, but when it comes to like certain companies, for example, when it comes to companies like Palo Alto Network or CrowdStrike, you might have seen very recently that there was an outage at the airports and flights were not taking off because the backend software is managed by a company called as CrowdStrike. So, there were some problems hui thi, right? Ki with the company, the way that they ran the code or something like that. And one could say that it was a cyber 
security problem now these type of companies are likely to become or come in the forefront in the next few years now again if you are considering these type of companies these companies could be considered now again tomorrow i am going to write like a detailed note on cyber security companies in india unfortunately the situation is that there are not many cyber security viable options because hota hai kya hai ki cyber security mein invest karne ke liye you need to be a big company first and foremost if you don't have like discretionary money uh, you most likely would not invest so much money that's it uh, second key problem is that in india a lot of security data breaches hoti rehti hain and uh, our laws are not that stringent to be honest so if you want to get exposure or sensible exposure to cyber security space then you have to go outside india so for that you could consider some of the us stocks natural question comes that okay how do we invest in the us stock so i would definitely encourage you to check out vested now it's a platform in which i am an angel investor invested has a tie up with hdfc bank because bahut sare security concerns ko leke aate hain ki you know what are these platforms reliable or not so ab yaar vested ka hdfc bank ke sath tie up hai right in terms of forex transfer all that stuff so from that angle you can be rest assured that it is well regulated both by indian entities and even in the us so it's a safe platform regulated platform so in case you are considering investing your money in the us you can check out vested and all the stocks that i have been mentioning they are available on vested to buy okay so this is the second key theme that i am bullish on and i will be putting more money on now third key theme that i am bullish on is still intact in fact this theme is brokerage slash amc company theme i am still very much bullish on this theme right but before that let me just quickly touch upon one key point here let's say for example if we look at hdfc amc's journey okay so those are buys may we had purchased it right so roughly ha kya aas paas and it is sitting like it has given like more than 100% profits i still haven't sold it maybe i have booked like 15 20% profit that's it is zyada maine kuch nahi isme becha hai now why because many people ask me the question ki yaar akshat hamare 100% gains ban gaye hain bech ke nikal jaye yeah there is that's not how you think okay so the way you need to think is that okay that we are sitting in november of 2024 right yahan pe do you see the stock going up or do you see the stock consolidating or do you see the stock going down okay you make your buy or sell decisions based on this so comes the natural question that okay why are you still bullish on amc companies and why are you still looking to build like more positions on it so two reasons hai number one reason is that overall market right overall market see if the overall market size goes from here इतना सा एंड इतना हो जाए राइट सो ऑटोमेटिकली जितने भी एमसी स्टॉक्स हैं दे आर आल्सो गोइंग टू डबल इन साइज राइट अगर अपन ये मान के चलो दिस वाज एक्स एंड दिस बिकेम टू एक्स सो बिकॉज द मार्केट इटसेल्फ हैज डबल therefore the stocks will also double and the companies that are managing those stocks will also double so there is a saying in america which goes something like this and i'm paraphrasing it that in a gold rush you sell shovels okay so for example jaise nvidia nvidia kya karti hai it sells chip in the ai race okay so it became like a multi bagger stock bahut crazy runa run up diya tha right similar thing is happening at a slightly you know slightly more sensible scale with amc companies in india ki amc companies are also doubling so this is reason number 1 reason number 2 is geo finance right now what is the meaning of geo finance maine geo finance ke likh diya because geo finance is getting into a series of things for example lending mein it is coming nbfc it has come in mutual funds more broadly asset management so to cut the long story short in a short this is doing like two broad things amc and second key thing is nbfc okay so they are doing both things ek to lending kar rahe hain wo right and then second is that they are managing money for the rich uh they might have like a wealth management practice also very similar to like nuama wealth so that was one of the picks that i had that had given exceptional run up now it is still in my portfolio if you are holding something like let's say five paisa capital or angel one these are all decent stocks to hold at least for a while what is the major risk with HDFC AMC type of companies well here right ana circle bana deta hu rest aapko chhod deta hu that you guys think what to be done there so my strategy would be to you know sort of pick more of this with time when the opportune time comes so i'll pick more of this because mera already HDFC AMC wagera pe kafi acha portfolio ban chuka hai so i am just building a hedge to this entire industry entire industry will grow there is no problem there but when it comes to this right Geo finance might take a lot of market share away even in a growing industry right so this is the point because there is a lot of regulatory challenges in this okay so yahan pe a conversation khatam karte hain i don't want to make it political and what not okay now comes the next key point and many of you ask me things like ya yeah, defense mein aapko bharosa nahi hai ya yeah, public sector banks mein aapko bharosa nahi hai see public sector bank theme i already played like 
पंजाब नेशनल बैंक कैनरा बैंक बैंक ऑफ बड़ौदा ये सब ने बहुत अच्छा नाम इनफैक्ट एस बी आई ने बहुत अच्छा रहा नाम दिया राइट सो दिस वॉज अगेन लाइक सम ऑफ द पिक्स दैट आई बीन स्पीकिंग अबाउट नाउ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड वन ऑफ माई बिगेस्ट कंसर्न एस दैट दी गवर्नमेंट स्पेंडिंग इज गोइंग टू स्लो डाउन सो जितने भी लोग बातें कर रहे हैं कि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में बहुत ग्रोथ आ जाएगी या यू नो वॉट डिफेंस में बहुत ग्रोथ आ जाएगी वगैरह वगैरह आई डोंट नो राइट हाव इन इट लुक्स लाइक लिटल बिट फिल्म जी कि गवर्नमेंट इज गोइंग टू बोरो एट अ क्रेजी रेट एंड कीप ऑन स्पेंडिंग मनी बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अबाउट हाउ मच मनी विल बी स्पेंड ऑन दीज थिंग्स इट्स अबाउट द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ दैट मनी फॉर एग्जाम्पल मान के चलो कि ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर में गवर्नमेंट ने हंड्रेड करोड़ खर्च करे नाउ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव में इट स्पेंड्स हंड्रेड करोर्स मोर राइट और इट स्पेंड्स इन टोटल हंड्रेड करोर्स नाउ हंड्रेड करोड़ माइट लुक लाइक अ वेरी बिग नंबर आई तो थर्टी के लिए ओके सो लेकिन ग्रोथ रेट इज वॉट मैटर्स कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी वो हंड्रेड करोड़ करती है नेक्स्ट ईयर इट गोज टू वन ट्वेंटी करोड़ सो देर इज अ ट्वेंटी परसेंट सी ए जी आर नाउ दैट कंपाउंडेड ग्रोथ रेट इज वॉट मैटर्स इन द स्टॉक मार्केट नाउ दिस इज अ पॉइंट दैट पीपल आर मिसिंग देर वॉज अ केपेक्स साइकिल कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर साइकिल बाई दी गवर्नमेंट इन द लास्ट थ्री फोर ईयर्स बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड की प्राइवेट स्पेंडिंग तो चली गई थी and it was mostly like public spending that was being undertaken now from that view point by 2024 government was spending crazy amount of money right which was called as public expenditure now the growth rate of that public expenditure needs to rationalize or stabilize okay so therefore i don't see a point in picking like public themed companies too many right i mean yahan aap thode bahut kar sakte ho right i mean if you find something sensible reasonable prices all that stuff but generally i would not be betting on these very heavy Capex themes, right? I mean, I, it doesn't make much sense to me to in, invest in like uh, real and all that companies. It, it it just doesn't add up. Okay, so the next theme that I'm bullish on is luxury brand themes. Now, what is the meaning of luxury brand themes? So, I'll give you a few examples. I'll give you. For example, there is a company called as Dream Folks. Okay. Now, I don't know how many of you are actually traveling by flights. And if you use lounge or whatever, so basically, Dream Folks, what it does is that it's the aggregator of एयरपोर्ट लाउंजेस राइट आप हर जगह ड्रीम फोक्स की वो चट्टा लगा हुआ देखते हो गए मशीन पे जब आप यू नो अपना यू गिव योर क्रेडिट कार्ड और डेबिट कार्ड टू गेट एंट्री इन टू द लाउंज वो ड्रीम फोक्स की मशीन मशीन होती है राइट सो नाउ दिस इज अ लग्जरी ब्रांड प्ले वाई बिकॉज एज द लग्जरी सेगमेंट इन इंडिया ग्रोज दे आर गोइंग टू यूज मोर लाइक एयरपोर्ट लाउंजेस वॉट नॉट इफ इनफैक्ट इतनी मारा मारी है इतनी मारा मारी है लाउंजों में लाउंजों में सेग्रीगेशन कर दिया कि भाई आपके पास एच डी एफ सी इन्फीनिया कार्ड है तो आपका अलग लाउंज है राइट एंड आपके पास बेसिक वाला तो अगले फुद्दू लाउंज में जाओ राइट एंड ऑल दिस स्टफ हैज स्टार्टेड टू हैपन वाई बिकॉज देर इज सच मैसेव डिमांड ऑफ दीज लग्जरी सर्विसेज सो अगर आप इस कंपनी के रिजल्ट देखो It has been exceptionally good, right? Uh, nothing, right? I mean, almost all-time high revenue profits, so nothing off, right? It's not as if that for a small cap company the PE is really expensive. What about price? Price में देखो गिरावट भी मिल रही है आपको five fifty one पे था four fifty हो गया है तो hundred divided by two तो लगा फिर एक fifteen twenty percent correction has happened on the stock. Unfortunately, it is in a downtrend, right? या consolidation बोल लो downtrend भी नहीं बोलोगे अभी तो, right? कि for example यहाँ पे this is how it's consolidating in this zone. जब भी ब्रेकआउट आएगा तो अच्छा खासा ब्रेकआउट आने की संभावना है राइट सो दैट्स व्हाट आई सिंपली से ऑन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंपनीज नाउ वन मोर कंपनी दैट आई एम ट्रैकिंग राइट एंड आई विल अगेन ट्राई अ डिटेल्ड नोट नाउ दिस कंपनी इज कॉल्ड एज लैंडमार्क कार्स राइट सो दिस इज अ कंपनी दैट आई एम लुकिंग एट मोर क्लोजली because they deal with luxury cars now that market is also growing really fast luxury real estate market is also growing really fast now luxury retail mein problem ye hai ki it has a very long cycle for example aap aaj laga doge paisa lekin uh, because the real estate cycle goes up and down very very aggressively so usko track kar pana is like really complicated uh, but when it comes to cars when it comes to lounges so these type of luxury services are doing fabulously well so i'll be increasing my stake in these type of companies This is not a recommendation to buy. आप अपना analysis खुद कर लो, okay? So this is what I'll say. Uh, final space where I am very bullish now is consumer lending space again. Uh, one angle to it would be Jio, right? Again, बहुत मतलब हंगामा मचा रहे लोग कि you know what Bajaj Finance बर्बाद हो गई and all that stuff. So let me just show you like the quality of Bajaj Finance still. For example, if you take check this number, this is the compounded profit growth rate. This is not the total profit growth rate. This is the Three year CAGR of the company, which is at fifty percent. And in the last three year, what has happened with the stock? Nothing, right? Tab se consolidate kar raha hai. Now basically, hota kya hai? Ki you know what? People just want like very quick profits. The stock will only go up when there is massive aggregation. For example, yahan pe dekho kitna zada aggregation tha, right? Now yahan pe bhi aggregation aayega, right? And ho raha hai. Dheere dheere accumulation ho raha hai. And now it will be taken up, right? Any day it could be. So don't lose trust on these type of stocks. If you are holding it, then definitely I would encourage you to hold it. Agar aapki position nahi hai, then you could definitely check out the fundamentals, read more, make your own positions, your own analysis. 
and then make a call whether you would invest or not. Now, consumer lending space has been going through a series of challenges. Like RBI has come and you know, screws tight kare lo, okay, right? Ki, you know, you're not lending properly. They have built like more safeguard mechanisms, etc, etc, right? So all those things have been there. But having said this, the short term problem seem to have been done away with, right? So there is a very good chance that now we could expect a 100% run up on these type of stocks. Even these safe funds, right? Because they have been consolidated and the company or business performance is very much in line and is set to give a run up, right? So, okay, so I wanted to cover like more themes, but unfortunately I've run out of time. So what I'm going to do is, and I'll try to make a part two of this video in case you guys like this one. And yeah, keep learning and keep performing in the stock market. I hope that you are already having good profits and in case not, then it's okay, don't panic. The market will come up and you will see your portfolio from red turning into green, right? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.